We are here today in the Walk Again Neuro Rehab Laboratory in Sao Paulo, Brazil, to talk about our first clinical paper that is appearing in this week's uh, scientific report issue, discussing something that was a very big surprise for us, the discovery that the long-term training with brain machine interfaces in patients that suffered a spinal cord injury a long time ago can lead to partial neurological recovery. In this first paper in scientific reports, we described the first 12 months of training of these eight patients. And to our big surprise, what we noticed was that the long-term training with uh, brain machine interfaces in different setups, in a virtual reality setup, in a standalone robot like this one that we are seeing here, or in a uh, exoskeletal control by a brain activity, trigger a partial neurological recovery uh, manifested by both partial motor uh, tactile, sensory, and visceral recovery of functions in all these patients. We are thinking that even though clinically all these patients were diagnosed repetitively over more than a decade as being complete paraplegics and they didn't have any movement and any sensitivity, perhaps from an anatomical point of view, the original lesion didn't destroy all fibers of the spinal cord. So some may have survived and went quiet for um, uh, many years. And due to the training that we uh, created uh, involving not only brain actuation, controlling, using brain activity to control devices uh, directly, but also providing very rich tactile feedback to the patients and making them walk bipedally with our exoskeleton or with this machine, the locomat here, we may actually have triggered a plastic reorganization in the cortex and by reinserting a representation of lower limbs and locomotion in the cortex, we may be able to transmit, or these patients may have been able to transmit some of this information from the cortex through the spinal cord, through these very few nerves that may have survived the original trauma. It's almost like we turn them on again, and because of that, uh, we got the spinal cord uh, activated by cortex again, and at the same time, receiving feedback from the periphery again, because these patients were walking uh, you know, in their training. When we saw these results, we went and looked at the literature, and we looked for similar findings, and we couldn't find. And certainly, we couldn't find anything related to long-term use of brain machine interfaces triggering this kind of partial neurological recovery. So I think these are very unique uh, findings, which suggest uh, the hypothesis, they raise the hypothesis that brain machine interfaces in the future may not be just a, an assisted technology to restore mobility. Uh, the, the combination of brain machine interfaces with other uh, therapies may lead to a new therapy.